Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this top and shorts which fits any of the animals in my crochet animal series. So for both pieces you will need a 4mm crochet hook and fine yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So we are going to start off by making the little top here and to begin the top you want to do a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook Go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And we are going to chain 28. So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 28. So there I have finished working my foundation chain and we are now on to round one. So to begin round one you want to work one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain. So yarn over and go down into this chain, the second chain from the hook yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet into that chain and now yarn over and go down into the next chain and you want to do the same thing into this one, one half double crochet and now do the same thing into the next chain and we're just going to do that all the way along for round one. One half double crochet into every single chain. So I am just coming to the end of round one and I have one last half double crochet to work here but whilst working that last half double crochet we are going to change colours. So yarn over and go down into the last chain and pull up a loop but usually we would yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook here. And we're not going to do that, we're going to drop the yarn that we were using and then take your new colour, so I'm going with a cream, place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through. So pull through all three loops. And there we have finished the round and finished the half double crochet and changed colours at the same time. And now you can fasten off the colour that you were using. So I'm going to cut this green yarn, leaving a nice long tail to weave in or work over later. And now we're moving on to round two with our new colour. So to begin round two, chain one and turn. So I'm going to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now in round two, we are going to be working in double crochets. So in round one, we worked in half double crochets and in this round, we're going to be working in double crochets. And we're going to do one double crochet into one stitch and then one double crochet into a second stitch and then two double crochets both into the next stitch. So we're doing one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way along. So you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch as our chain one did not count as a stitch. And I'm going to work over my ends here to save me weave weaving them in later. 
and we're going to do one double crochet and then yarn over and go into the next stitch and do one double crochet into this one and to do a double crochet you yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into each of the first two stitches and now into this next one we're going to do two double crochets. Like that. So there we have one, one, two, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So do one into the next stitch, and one into the next, and then two, two double crochets, both into the next, and just keep repeating that. So I am just coming to the end of round two and I have one stitch left to work into and we need to do two double crochets into this last stitch. So yarn over and go down into the last stitch at the end and do one double crochet. And then whilst working the last double crochet, we are going to change colours again. So yarn over, go down into the stitch pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops and then right before the last step you want to drop the yarn that you are using and take your new colour so I'm going back with the green place it over the end of your hook and pull it through and you can then fasten off the colour that you are using leaving a tail to weave in or work over later and we're ready to move on to round three so to begin this round, chain one and turn, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So in round three, we are going to go back to working with half double crochets. So just as we did in round one. And this round is kind of similar to last round, but last round we did one, one, two, all the way along. And in this round, we're going to do one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochets all the way along. So we're doing one, 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 two, one, 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 two. So yarn over and go down into the very first stitch and I'm going to work over my ends again and do one half double crochet and then yarn over and go down into the next stitch and do one into this one and then do one half double crochet into the third stitch and then into the next stitch here we are going to do two half double crochets both into this one like that so there we have one 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 two and we're going to repeat that again do one half double crochet into three stitches and then do two half double crochets both into the next one like that and just keep repeating that all the way around for round three
so there I have finished working that for round three and when I got to the very end and worked my last half double crochet I changed colours at the same time but I have gone back to the cream and at the end of this round you should have 45 half double crochets so if you want to check you should have 45 and now we're moving on to round four so chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch and in this round we're going back to working in double crochet and we are going to do one double crochet into four stitches and then two double crochets both into the next and we're going to keep repeating that all the way along so go down into the very first stitch and I'm working over my ends and do one double crochet and then do one into the second one along and then one double crochet into the third and then the fourth stitch along so there we have four double crochets one into each stitch and now we're going to do two both into the next stitch here like that and just keep repeating that all the way along one 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 two one 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 two working in double crochet So I have finished working that all the way along for round four and at the end of this round you should have 54 double crochets and it's really important that you have that number at this point so I would recommend that you just quickly go back and double check that you do have 54 and at the end of this round I um, changed colours whilst working the last double crochet and once you have done that we are ready to move on to round five and in round five we are going to turn our strip which we have here into a top shape so we're going to be adding in a front a back and two armholes so to start off you want to chain one and turn and i'm using my new color here so chain one and turn and this does not count as a stitch and we are going to work eight half double crochets so we are working in half double crochets for this round and we are going to do eight so yarn over and go into the first stitch and as usual i am working over my ends from last round so work one half double crochet and then a second one and a third So there I have those eight half double crochets and this is going to form the first half of the back and now we can move on to the first armhole and for this armhole we're going to chain one and then two and then skip 11 stitches so you want to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and we're going to skip this 11th one and then into the next stitch here so this would be the 12th stitch along we're going to do a half double crochet so yarn over and go into this stitch so this would be the 12th one and pull your work nice and tight together and work a half double crochet and there you can see we have created our first armhole and now we are on to the front of our top and the front of our top is 16 stitches long so we have already done one here so now we're going to do a second half double crochet into the next stitch and then a third into the next and keep going until you have 16 
So there I have finished working those 16 half double crochets and that has created the front of our top. And now we can move on to the next armhole. And for this one, we're going to do the exact same thing as we just did for the other side. You want to chain two and then skip 11 stitches. So I'm going to skip this 11th one and then into the next stitch, so this would be the 12th stitch along, do a half double crochet like that. And there we have completed the second armhole. And now to finish off this round, you just want to do half double crochets all the way along. And you should find that that is eight in total with this one that we just worked here. And that will take you to the end of the round and you will have done the other half of the back. So I'm just coming to the end of round five and I have one stitch left to work into. And whilst working this last half double crochet, so this is my eighth one for this side of the back, I'm going to change colours. So start to work your half double crochet and change colours at the same time. And then fasten off the colour that you were using. So like that, so there I have fastened off the colour that I was using. And now before we move on to round six, we need to join our work. So if you have a look at our top here at the back, we have this little opening with a cute button and then the rest of the top is joined. So we need to join now at the end of this round. So to do that, you want to take your work, so take your new yarn and go over to the opposite side and go into the first half double crochet that you worked, insert your hook into this stitch and then work a slip stitch. So take your new yarn and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have joined with a slip stitch and now we are moving on to the next So round. we are now on to round six and to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one never counts as a stitch. So in this round we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So do one down into this very first stitch here. Do one double crochet. And then do one into the next stitch. And just repeat this all the way around. So there I have finished doing one double crochet into each stitch for round six. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 double crochets. And we are going to finish off by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked and changing colors at the same time. So from now on, whenever we change colors, we're going to do that whilst working the slip stitch at the end. So go into the first double crochet, but drop the yarn that you were using and then take your new color, place it over the end of your hook and pull it through. And then you can fasten off the color that you were using and we're now on to round seven. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And this round is the same as last round, but we're going to be using half double crochets instead. So you just want to do one half double crochet into every single stitch. So there I have finished working that all the way around for round seven. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch and change colors. So just as we did before, 
and then you can fasten off the colour that you were using and we're ready to move on to round eight. So we are now on to round eight and for the next four rounds, so for rounds eight, nine, ten and eleven, and these are the last four rounds at the top, we are just going to repeat the last two rounds that we did, so rounds six and seven. So for round eight, you want to do round six, then for round nine, do round seven, then for round 10, do round six, and then 11, do round seven. And those rounds are very simple. They're just plain rounds of double crochet and half double crochet, changing colors at the end of each round. So once you have done those four repeats, work your last slip stitch and then fasten off. And there you will have finished your top. And then you can weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside. And if you have worked over them for some time, then you can just pull them tight and cut them off. And then you want to go ahead and add a button to the top of one side. So as I made this outfit for Dudley Dog, I added a cute little bone. So I added it to one side and then I made a little button loop just by inserting my hook into the top, chaining long enough to go around the button and then doing a slip stitch into the next stitch and weaving that in nice and securely. And there I have finished the top of this outfit. And now we can move on and make these little so shorts. So we are now going to move on and make the shorts. And to begin the shorts, you want to do a slip knot. So just as we did for the beginning of the top, make a slip knot. Like that. And then you want to make your foundation chain. And we are going to chain 36. So chain one, two, three, four, all the way up to 36. So there I have finished working my foundation chain of 36. And now before we move on to round one, we need to turn our chain here into a foundation ring. So to do that, you want to go along your chain slowly, making sure that there are absolutely no twists and go down to the very first chain and insert your hook into this chain and work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have done our foundation chain and we have turned it into a foundation ring. And now we're moving on to round one. So to begin round one, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round one is just a simple round of half double crochet. So we're just going to do one half double crochet into each stitch or each chain. So yarn over and go down into the first chain that our chain one comes out of and do a half double crochet and then yarn over and do one into the next chain and one into the next. And just continue this all the way around. So there I have finished working that all the way around for round one. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 half double crochets. And now to finish off this round, go into the first one that you worked and work a slip stitch. And now we are moving on to round two. So for the next five rounds of our shorts, so for rounds two, three, four, five and six, we are just going to do one double crochet into each stitch. So to begin each round, chain one, and this never counts as a stitch, and then do one double crochet into every stitch and finish off with a slip stitch. And there should be 36 double crochets in every round. So do that all the way around for five rounds. One double crochet into every single stitch. So 
So there I have finished working those rounds and we have created the main part of our shorts and we are now on to round seven, which is the first round of the first leg. So to begin this round, you want to chain one like I have done. And now we are going to work double crochets until we get halfway around. So that should be 18 double crochets. So yarn over and go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet and then do one into the next and then a third and keep doing this until you have 18. So there I have finished working those 18 double crochets and that should have taken you halfway around. And now to finish off this round, to finish off round seven or the first round of the first leg, you want to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So kind of turn your work over and go to the first double crochet of the round here and then insert your hook into that stitch and work a slip stitch and that will join the back to the front and you can see we have our first leg forming here and now we are on to the next round and for the next two rounds so for rounds eight and nine we are just going to do one double crochet into each stitch so to begin round eight you want to chain one and then do one double crochet into each stitch and then do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked and then you want to do the same thing for round nine so we're doing two rounds of double crochet So there I have finished working those two rounds and as you can see we have created the first leg of our little shorts. So now you can fasten off and if you wanted these to be longer then you could just do a few more rounds. So we're going to fasten off and leave a nice long tail and when you fasten off leave a tail to weave in later. And now we're going to move on to the other leg. And this leg is worked in the exact same way as this one. We just have three rounds of plain double crochet. So you want to start off by attaching your yarn somewhere in the back of the shorts here. So I'm going to go probably two or three stitches from the center and attach your yarn into this stitch like that. And now you want to work double crochets all the way along until you reach the center. So there I have worked into the last stitch which hasn't been worked into. And now you want to turn your work over to the front and go to this stitch here. So this is the first stitch which hasn't been worked into on the front. And we're going to yarn over, go down into this stitch and do a double crochet. And then just continue to do double crochets all the way around and that should be 18 in total. And then do two more rounds and then you can fasten off and there we will have finished the second leg. And then to finish off your little shorts, you can do a quick border, so just a single crochet or half double crochet border in a different colour around the top and around each of the legs. So you could add a border just like I did with these shorts, just add a little um, single crochet or half double crochet border all the way around. And then once you have done that, we have completed the shorts and we have done our little animals outfit. And this outfit will fit any of the animals in my crochet animal series. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. 
and in the description box below this video I will leave a link to where you can find all of the other tutorials in this series and also the written pattern. So the written pattern for this outfit comes along with the dogs. So it comes along with the pattern for Dudley and Daphne dog. And in the description box, I will also leave links to my Twitter and Instagram. So I always like to post pictures and updates on there, especially Instagram. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.